back to the microscopic anatomy here. Okay, so the sarcolemma, which is this surrounding right here, this is what we call the cell membrane. Okay, which you remember is also called the plasma membrane. So for whatever reason, they, we don't call it that in the cell of a muscle. Well, you could, um, but they just call it the sarcolemma. And you remember sarc means flesh, which is what muscle is, and lemma means covering. The sarcoplasm is another name for the cytoplasm. Okay, so the liquid portion of the cell. So inside the sarcoplasm, we have myofibrils. And that is these individual fibers here that make up the cell. So remember, we're looking at a cell right here that's been cut. They store glycogen and they store oxygen because the muscle needs glycogen for energy source and they need oxygen uh, for normal metabolism. Skeletal muscle consists of bundles of tiny myofibrils that run the length of the muscle. Myofibrils consist of even finer fibers called myofilaments. They are arranged in a type of latticework to form units called sarcomeres. There are two types of myofilaments, thin and thick. Thick myofilaments are made of a protein called myosin, whereas thin myofilaments consist of a protein called actin. Thin myofilaments are attached to Z-discs. When a muscle begins to contract, the myosin heads latch on to the actin myofilaments, forming what is known as a cross bridge. The myosin heads propel the actin myofilaments forward toward the center of the sarcomere. Because the actin myofilaments are attached to the Z-discs, they pull the Z-discs closer together, shortening the sarcomere. As the sarcomere shortens, so does the myofibril and the entire muscle. Keep in mind that the myofilaments do not shorten. They stay the same length. The sarcomere shortens because the filaments slide over the top of one another. Okay, so as that animation just said, the sarcoplasm is filled with myofibrils which contains sarcomeres. And that's what these lines are that you're actually seeing right here. So we've got Z-disc to Z-disc there. Um, it's actually between the red lines right there from that red line to that red line. So we're going to look at a close-up view of that here in just a second. But those things are the contractile units of the muscle fiber, mean, meaning those are the things that actually contract. Okay, so the sarcomeres are bundled into groups called myofilaments. Myo, as you re remember, means muscle, and filament, I think you know what that means, some sort of a small thread-like thing. And these are actually made of a protein, two proteins. One's called actin, and one is called myosin. So here's a picture of a sarcomere. And the first thing that I like to point out here is what's called the Z-line or the Z-disc. And that is this zigzag line right here on the end. So that's the protein backbone that anchors these actin filaments to the sarcomere. And this is what forms the end boundary. So from one Z-disc to another is a boundary. And one thing that you need to understand is that here's one sarcomere here, but right on the other side is another sarcomere. Okay? So here's an actin filament that's cut off, but it continues on. You can see Z-disc, Z-disc, and it continues on to the next um, uh, sarcomere. Okay, so let's start talking about actin first. Okay, see th these are also known as thin filaments for obvious reasons, and they interact with the myosin, which is the purplish colored ones there. Myosin are called thick filaments because they're obviously the thicker ones. Now. This picture isn't in your book, um, so I added these red lines here to show you what titan is, and titan is T-I-T-I-N, not T-I-T-A-N, like the Greek gods, I guess. Um, but it's the protein that anchors the myosin to the Z-disc or Z-line. Okay, so actin forms what is called a cross bridge, and that's an official term, um, with the myosin. And what happens is when they interact, they shorten with each other.